Aries, how you doing? Welcome back. And welcome back, Cross Watchers. Let's see what's going on with my Ariases. Remember, Aries, it could resonate to you, the Cross Watcher, or a third party, all right? I could be picking up on anybody, okay? So let's see what's going on with Aries. What is the energy here for Aries? Mineta. Come in here like the emperor. What else? What else? Listen. Okay, Arius. You're coming in like the emperor. Okay, that's your card, Arius. Stable. Ready, not letting nobody get in your way in your full power. Okay, it could turn into 20,000 bitches at one time and just you know, demolish everything in your way. Okay, I feel like there was a loss here, a little bit of a loss here, some money, but you're standing like the king of coins, you ain't stopping till you get that money. Damn, Arius, every reading that I hear with Arius is about money. Is there any area singles out there? No, I'm just playing. Listen. Somebody here had a little bit of loss of money, you feel me? And they're fighting to get back on track. But I'm going to tell you something. You're coming out of the king of coins. A person that's not going to stop. You know, the king of pentacles. You know, for what they want, whether it's love, money, prosperity, house, cars, whatever it is, areas, you're going after it. Okay? You have a lot of options here to pick up, whatever it is. You can either be single or you could be with somebody. It's how it's showing up here. You're going to come into some sort of like celebration or reunion or... Or something's going to happen here. And I feel like it's going to be like, um, have to work or a promotion or something big that's going to happen. I, I hear grand opening for some reason. I hear grand opening in my head. And I don't even like to say grand opening. That to me is like, we don't even say that out here in Miami. But I feel like I, I don't know. I heard grand opening in my head. Something big here is coming here. I see a lot of gold for some reason. Somebody could be wearing a lot of gold. It's not because of the emperor card. It's just that I see it. Listen. Somebody here is going to hit hard. I've been saying it for a long time with Aries. I can, I, I can never forget the Aries reading. Because it comes out with so much money. If you haven't played yet. The Lotto. The Mega. The Powerball. Whatever the fuck. Because I don't play. But you need to go play. If it's today, tomorrow, the next day, the next day, keep on going with the same numbers. Don't switch numbers, all right? Keep on playing. If you could hit scratch offs, listen, I do play scratch offs and I like to go gamble in machines, but I don't play the lotto. And I'm supposed to win millions in a lotto or an Omega, and I choose not to play it. Don't ask me why, because I ain't going to answer that question. But. Somebody here needs to go play over and over again with the same numbers. Get tickets that that you got to... Listen, when you play scratch offs and shit like that, you got to observe, okay? The winning tickets for that day. If it paid a bunch of people, don't get that ticket. It's not going to pay you. If there's a, like a stack that it hasn't paid that day, there's a good chance you're going to win big. I know because I play scratch offs whenever I get a chance. So somebody here needs to play because somebody here is going to hit it hard. But I've been saying it for a while. And let me tell you something. If y'all motherfuckers hit that lotto or hit something and left my channel and didn't talk to me again, I'm coming after you. Yes, I will because I could pick up on the energies. Listen, I'm playing with y'all. Somebody here is going to hit it hard. <clears throat> Listen, a lot of like family reunions are coming together here. So I don't know if your choruses, you know, haven't seen your family members because of COVID in so long. You feel me? Or whatever the case may be. But I feel like a lot of you are going to be reunite with family. There's going to be gatherings with family. I feel like somebody here <clears throat> wants to help a family member that is in need right now. 
It doesn't matter, man. It doesn't matter if you give them 20, 5, 10, 30 bucks, 50 bucks, whatever it is. Something is something. I feel like somebody here is in need and you need to help them, okay? The page of wands can reverse. Why? Because the page, the page of wands is a bitch, okay? So somebody here was trying to be a bitch or sabotage you in some type of way because they know you're coming with abundance and that flipped on their ass. You feel me? Like, if they would have came like this, I would have been worried. But they flipped their ass upside down. My ass just flipped that motherfucker upside down because you know what? They ain't going to get in your way. That's what she just told me. Lo irá raro aquí no se mete con él, bro. Listen, she flipped that shit upside down. Areas nobody's going to fuck with you. Okay? So, I don't know what's going on here, but if you haven't met somebody or you want a commitment, whoever whoever here is with you, Areas is in your same energy, abundance, love, commitment. But I feel like it's more like stabilizing your life, getting a home, having a reliable car, doing things for the kids, doing things for yourself. So when t tomorrow comes and you need to retire or whatever the fuck it is, you, you're stable. Your kids are stable. That's what I'm picking up here. It's not about having money. It's not about having money to go spend it every day. It's not about having money to go buy luxuries. It's about being stable is what I'm picking up here. And this is what you guys are going for. I love it. Yeah, it doesn't mean y'all are not going to buy what you want because everybody does that. But it's more the stability you guys are worried about. Hold on a minute. What else for areas here? A lot of good energy that's coming in here today. I love it. What else for Aries here and the person? A lot of changes is coming. Listen, you got the world in your hands, Aries. My God, like how long is it going to take for me to hear somebody say I hit that shit? Like, honey, I hit it. You feel me? I want to hear it, bro. Like somebody's going to hit it. A lot of changes are coming, okay? You know, you might be jumping into something new when it comes to love. You know, you might be meeting somebody new and kicking with them. You feel me? I don't feel too much like there's like um energies here that want to jump too much into like the in love thing. You feel me? But you would like somebody next to you to chill with, to vibe with you, <clears throat> to be with you. You feel me? So somebody might be coming your way or you might be thinking about somebody. Hold on a minute. I feel like some of y'all were standing, you know, very, very like... Um, bitchy and y'all left that shit behind you somebody was being a bitch here and you just like you kick rocks with those motherfuckers somebody was being a bitch here they were trying to be a bitch and stand in your way and you kick rocks you said kick rocks what else for um areas here please listen <sighs> the high priestess Listen, Aries, I feel like you're doing a lot of self-meditation. I feel like what she's telling me in the back, se están dando cuenta de las cosas malas que han hecho para que aprendan mejor, meaning, she told me bits and pieces, um, like a lot of shadow work, like you're realizing the things that you've done wrong, the things that you did that didn't serve you, the things that you did that came out wrong, the things that you put yourself into and it was a pattern and you said, you know what, if I do this again, I'm going to end up like this. If I do this this way, it's going to end up like, you know, like really putting yourself, you know, in a shadow work, but not in a bad one, like realizing that if you go this way, it's going to be a fuck up. But if you go this way, it might go better. You feel me? And a lot of you, I feel like you're doing that meditation and you're also calling in your guides. You're calling in, you know, your spiritual guides to come and help you. I feel like a lot of you are doing a lot of self meditation when it comes to spiritual guides with God, with whatever you believe in, you're praying when you're meditating, even when you're not meditating, because you could be sitting outside right now smoking a cigarette or smoking a blunt and just chilling by yourself, and that's meditation right there. You don't got to close your eyes and hear no soft music and meditate. Anything that you're relaxed is meditation, you feel me? So I feel like a lot of you are, you know, praying to whatever you believe in. You know, the higher power, guides, angels, star seeds, whatever it is that you're praying to. And you know what? All that is paying off for you. Okay? 
Don't let this motherfucker come in and fuck you up. I see somebody already laughing here that wants to come in and be a little bitch. I feel like you kick rocks with somebody here that was trying to get into your business and try to ruin things for you. That person is envious, jealous. They don't want to see you move forward, but you're going to move forward, Aries. I don't know what nobody says. You're into your higher power. Now listen, what can I tell you? The Ten of Cups. A loving, warming home. A new love. A new family. Maybe children. Maybe some of you are going to have children. Listen, Aries, I cannot make this shit up. If you haven't met somebody yet, you're going to meet somebody. If you're in a commitment, you're doing everything this for your family. You're stabilizing your life for your family. You're moving into bigger and better things. You're learning how to move forward and leave what didn't work behind you and move forward to new things for that to work, for to move into abundance because you want to stabilize your family. If you haven't already gone to somebody new or somebody hasn't come new, they're coming in like the king of coins, somebody that wants the stability, that wants abundance, that wants family, that wants to, you know, to, a person that wants the same thing that you want. You feel me? This page of wands got flipped over by my ancestor because she wants to be a bitch. It could be a, a female, it could be a male. That page of wands needs to move out out of your fucking way because she's trying to come in to be a bitch. But that's why she got flipped over like a dummy. I'm sorry. But whoever the fuck is that page of wands that's following you around, a person that'll stop stalking you, that looks at everything you do and is trying to ruin your fucking life, listen, bro, kick rocks with that bitch. Like, get the fuck out of here, bro. Like, I don't even want to look at her. I swear to God. She gave me some bad vibes. Like, bitch, yeah, I flipped you over. No, because I feel like somebody wants to come in and fuck shit up. And if they do, listen, you know what you got to do. Listen, what, what did I just tell you, people? I cannot make shit up. My ancestors are on point. Look at this bitch that I just flipped over. That was... Came was trying to come out like this, and my ancestor did a 360 on her ass. Why? Because it is the energy that's trying to come in the devil energy, the darkness. Whoever this queen of wands is, I'm gonna put her back just because the devil is right there. Listen, whoever this queen of wands is in reverse that's trying to be tricky and is trying to pretend like. She ain't going to bother you or he ain't going to bother you or, you know, they left things over and they left be things behind and they ain't going to, you know, meddle in your business. They are meddling in your business. You feel me? This person's very toxic. This person is going to try to bring toxic back into your life, like old patterns. They're going to try to remove you from this beautiful, beautiful energy you're coming into that you're already in. Whoever this dark energy is. That's a person that's... Oh, my God. I can't. I can't. I can't deal with these motherfuckers. Like, I can't. Listen, whoever this person is, they ain't wishing no good for you. They might be even doing voodoo in the background. Like, I can't even sugarcoat the shit on my channel. I can't. Because I'm a medium, I'm a psychic, I see this every day, I know when voodoo comes in, you feel me? The devil card is about dark thoughts, is about detachment, you know, is about shadow, you know, work, you feel me? Addictions and things like that, but also when I get the devil card, my ancestor completely says completely, like turns, she snaps, brujeria, she says it, somebody here's trying to mess with you. Because they know. Listen, you might be having problems with abundance and it hasn't hit yet because this motherfucker don't stop. You feel me? This motherfucker right here doesn't stop. Whoever is fucking with this shit is fucking with your life. And this is why somebody here probably hasn't hit it yet. Because I'm going to tell you what areas you're going to remember me. Even if, we don't, if you don't hear me again in five years, somebody here is going to hit it big. A lot of you are going to hit it big. This motherfucker needs to be removed because they keep on coming and fucking you up. 
If you're having problems with your family, you already know what it is. I'm sorry, but this I can't deal with these motherfuckers. They stupid as fuck. And if you're cross-watching me, and you're the one that's doing this to Arius, listen, I got Arius in my family. Nobody knows my channel, but... You know, if you come into my channel, you're a cross-watcher watching for Arius, and you out there saying, yeah, I did voodoo on Arius, listen. You have no idea who my ancestors are. I'm just telling you. I got love for some people out here, you feel me? And my subs, you feel me? So, I'm just saying it. Just in case somebody bumps into this reading one day and sees it. This is timeless. Let's see. How is this person coming into areas, please? You see what I'm saying? There's a person here that has a... Oh, my God. Like, I can't. There's a person here that's very controlling or was controlling in your past. A person that's very possessive. A person that's obsessed with you. A person that will not let you go. A person that keeps on bothering. A person that even if you don't hear their voice or hear their calls or hear texts, I mean, see texts or whatever they ask around, you see, you hear people telling you, this person won't stop. This person is obsessed with you. They have control. You feel me? They had a lot of control over you in the past. Very possessive person that would do anything to get to you. Like, this person seems to me like they motherfucking crazy. This person, I'm going to say it right now, and I'm going to say it again. I heard a long time ago when I first started, not the first side of the tower, in the middle of it. People coming in here saying that um, if you believe in God, that we don't get to you. No. That's a lie. When voodoo is done, voodoo is done. Just like you believe in God, you believe in the motherfucking devil. And I'm not saying the devil is voodoo. Voodoo are dark entities that have nothing to do with the devil. It's just dark magic. There's people that work with the devil, which is something different. But voodoo does work. Voodoo does come in. Voodoo does fuck up your life. Voodoo will not let you move forward. And this person here... Whatever the fuck you were dealing with, or a family member, because I'm picking up family members, does not stop with the fucking voodoo, pos I mean, possessed. I was going to say possessed. Maybe the bitch or the nigga is possessed. I don't know. But this shit getting me 38 hot because this person doesn't stop. Like, you Aries are doing so good. Like, there's so much abundance coming your way. Like, Aries, this year has been the whole year my reading for Aries. And every time I bump into it, some fuckery comes out. Trying to block your ways. You feel me? So if you feel like it's coming, but then it stops. And you feel like it's coming. And you feel like, you know, it's coming. And you having that feeling like, damn, I'm going to get it. Like, I feel it coming, but nothing comes. You already know what it is. This person doesn't stop. What else is coming towards areas, please? Look at this, the tower. This person wants, to, oh my God, this person wants destruction. Aries. Whoever this person is, you need to do something about this. Because this person does not want you to move forward. This person wants destruction for you. This person might try to cause a problem with you if you move forward. Because they know what you're moving into. This person don't want to see you happy. This person wants to see you miserable like they are miserable because they made you miserable. Now they're miserable. So now because they're miserable because they made you in the past miserable, they want to keep you in the misery. What the fuck? Like, uh, man. I cannot make shit up. What else for this person coming in towards areas? An imbalanced person. The two of pentacles. A person that used to juggle. A person that has many options. A person that doesn't care about nothing. A person that is imbalanced completely. That has 20,000 many options. That makes 
illegal negotiations, illegal shit going on. I'm not worried about the illegal shit they're doing. I'm worried about the voodoo and the fuck are they doing to the areas is here. This person caused you a lot of um, pain. And, you know, this person could be marrying you for some reason. I feel like this person's watching you. I feel like some of you go outside sometimes or do something and you feel like somebody's watching you. Or you see somebody roll by or something. Let me tell you something. This person's closely watching you. Aries. If you think they don't know where you live, they know where you live. They know where you live. I'm seeing something really weird here. With this person. Why is this person here? And I never I know why they're here, but I just want to confirm it. I know why they're here. Why is this person here, Mineda, trying to destroy areas? For money. I cannot make this shit up even if my motherfucking try it. I can't. They want your wealth. They want your family. They want inheritance. Somebody is getting an inheritance. They want your success. They don't want you to move forward. I cannot make this shit up. It's all about money. Like the whole reading said when this motherfucker came out. They don't want you to see you move forward. They know what you're going to hit. They know you're going to come with money. They know you're going to come with wealth, family, you know, success, money, abundance. Everything that a person can have in their life, you're going to get it. This motherfucker is coming for your money, for your family, for your wealth. I feel like somebody here is going to hit an inheritance really hard. And that person's after your inheritance. For some reason. I cannot make shit up. I'm not a psychic. You're going to be in for no reason, man. This shit crazy. Like, this person, like, is not going to stop. I don't I don't know why. Like, listen, that over there, did I see the signs you people? Areas. You could be dealing with um, a Capricorn, an Aquarius, a Gemini, a Pisces, an Aries, any sign. Um, a Gemini again, a Capricorn again. Um, another Capricorn. There's a lot of Capricorn here. And another Capricorn. And a Virgo there. Listen, you might want to check your chart and see if you have Capricorn. Or you're strongly dealing with a fucking Capricorn here. I don't like this right here. Because I feel like this is so good for Aries. And you guys are going to come into such a big abundance. And such a big beautiful life that's waiting for you. Because the universe is giving it to you. To a lot of you Aries that deserve it. And I feel like this person doesn't stop. They ain't stopping. They're not going to stop till they destroy you. Somebody here has an inheritance. You might have to switch papers or something. Or do something with an attorney. And talk to an attorney because of an inheritance here. Okay? For some reason, go to an attorney and find out what's going on. Or somebody's getting an inheritance here. Because somebody wants to grab that. But for the most part, all these areas that are blessed. That the universe is giving you something. All these beautiful things. This person is in your way. You have to know who this person is. What advice do you give um, areas here? Minera. This is really like got me 30 high right now because people are so stupid. Like let people be happy, bro. Like listen, like how if I could listen, I could do whatever I want. You feel me? 
how I work. I can make anything happen in a snap of my fingers. And I don't even fuck with nothing like that. You feel me? Like, it makes no damn sense. It says, be practical with respect to how you proceed. The ability to make anything more beautiful. Meeting someone who can help your dreams come true. So whoever here is going to meet somebody, like I said, they're coming with abundance. They're coming, you know, with stability. They're coming with success. They're coming ready. You know, someone that's going to stabilize themselves with you. And, you know, and, you know, dreams come true, like they say in movies or whatever. Yeah, whatever you're wishing for, they're going to help you with it. But this person got to move out the way. Manage your resources wisely. Achieve a balance in how you spend it and save money. Help out those who are less fortunate. I cannot make this shit up. Manage your resources wisely. Somebody here needs, if you're getting an inheritance, or you're getting some big money, or whatever the case is with some big money here, you need to do something about it because they're after your money. Be careful that somebody here does not get robbed. I hope not. I'm going to wish, and I'm going to have my ancestor put a blessing here right now because I feel like somebody's going to rob somebody here, okay? Be very careful. Watch your surroundings. If you're a woman, walk with somebody, a co-worker, whatever it is, you know? If you're a man, walk with your homeboy. Don't walk alone, you feel me? Like, whatever you do, walk and look around and look at everything, you feel me? Like, keep your eyes wide open. Let me see. What does this person want to tell? Past, present, or future? To Aries here. No, hold up. Uh-uh. What is the advice here for Aries? I'm distracted right now because I'm so, like, man, I wish I knew who these people are. Okay, let me see. It says, give thanks for the blessings of love soon to come your way. Know that you deserve to be and have all that your heart truly desires. So, yes, love and everything you desire is coming your way. But this person in the way, like, let me see past, present, or future. What do they want to say to Aries? What else? What else? Hmm. It says, I don't know if I can meet your expectations. I feel like this is coming from this person that's obsessed. Man, I need more time to figure things out. I think this person is just obsessed. Like, the feeling that I'm getting when I'm reading this is like, how my ancestors is telling me, I'm picking this up, but it's all in their head. Like, it's what they're thinking and talking to themselves about. Like, they sit there and they talk to themselves. Like, if they're talking to you type of shit. Like, a fatal attraction, like, you know, obsession type of shit going on here. This person got issues, bro. I'm finally feeling the consequence of my actions. No, you ain't, motherfucker. You ain't feeling shit. You're doing shit. It says, I don't know how to feel anymore. They're talking to themselves. My ancestors just said it. Están hablando con ellos mismos. Se creen que están hablando con la persona. Like, that's what she said. That they're talking to themselves and they pretend like, you know, whatever Eric's going to hit this is in front of them. It's like they're very obsessed. This person could have issues when it comes to, like, psychotic shit going on like that. This shit's crazy. Like, what the fuck? Damn, Aries. And this reading is so beautiful. Like, you need to remove this person out your way because this person is severely, severely obsessed. And watch. Listen, I'm not saying that nothing's going to happen to you, so though. Don't be scared, girls out there, whatever. You feel me? Like, just watch your back when you're walking alone or whatever. Walking out from work to your car. Walking in or when I, It's, you know, it's just good to watch yourself. You feel me? 
first, middle, last initial for you or your person or this, I don't know, obsessive person coming out here. Or even a nickname. Let's see what comes out here. I feel like this person, their eyes turn really dark when they're pissed. But it's not even a normal thing. It's like you've noticed it before. Okay, you got a Y here. You got an O here. I feel like some of y'all getting dizzy for some reason. If somebody's getting dizzy, go get checked. You got a C here. You got a G. Somebody's getting very dizzy here. You need to go get checked for that. T. You got an H, which is also an I. You got an R. You got another C. You got a W. You could flip that to an M if you want to on spiritual dices. You got another O. You got an L. And you got an E. Listen, you got two C's. I'm going to flip this C and see if I get you another letter. You got an A. And I'm, you got two O's here, so I'm going to flip those and, see, and get you another letter, all right? You got an H, which is also an I. And you got an H, I here, so I'm going to flip this one and get you another letter. You got a T. All right? You got a T over here. Let me flip it. You got an N, which could also be a Z. All right? Listen, Arius, this shit is crazy. Like, this is so beautiful. Whatever, you know, you Arius is forever having coming out with so much abundance, beautiful things coming at you. And I feel like every time that a reading comes in, somebody comes to fuck shit up. You need to fix the situation with this person. You feel me? My bad. Do something because this person's getting in your way and there is a lot of voodoo done here for you not to move forward. You feel me? Like, this is crazy. But for the most part, keep on moving. If you're not feeling anything crazy and it's a normal for you, then it's not for you. You feel me? Keep on moving. This is not going to hit every area. It's not voodoo for every area. And it's not a person trying to fuck up every area. You feel me? So take it how it hits you. All right? I'm going to wish you the best of luck, and I'll see you later, later my loves.